All right, Mind Body Soul Tribe, workout number four for November. So time frame once again, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, but this time the format that we're gonna put this in is the hub and spoke, okay? So uh, we're gonna create a wheel. Now in the middle is our hub, all right? So we have one exercise in the middle, and then we're gonna branch off to four different spokes, okay? So it's gonna be 20 seconds of your hub, 10 seconds rest, and then we're gonna do 20 seconds of the spoke, 10 seconds rest, and then back to the hub. And then you branch out to spoke number two, 10 seconds rest, back to the hub, 20 seconds, and go around for two total rounds each wheel, okay? And that's the first part. And then you rest one to two minutes, and then you get the second wheel of the hub and its spokes, all right? So let's get on with the first wheel. All right, the hub for the first wheel is gonna be uh, uh, hot hands plus a push-up. So starting here, you can go from the knees, one, one. You can do a push-up here, one, 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 one. Trying to keep the hands underneath the chest, grip the ground, squeeze the booty by tucking your pelvis, advance it by going to the toes. So 20 seconds. Then I rest for 10 seconds and I get ready for the first spoke, which is a cross country skier. So I'm here in the split stance. I have opposite arm, opposite leg, jump and change. So you can start here, just stick the landing. Then as you get better, if you want to, you can put some light weights in your hands and it'll make it much more challenging. So 20 seconds there, 10 seconds rest, back to the hub. Hot hands, push up, whichever variation you're working. And then spoke number two is gonna be our ice skater jumps. So ice skater jumps, you can go a little bit shorter distance, but go faster. Make sure you're sitting back into your hips here. If you want a little bit more, you can have a bigger hop, but still try to keep that speed. If you're too high, you're not really working a whole lot. You want to be able to sit back in your hips, okay? So once we finish that, 10 seconds rest, back to our hub and spoke of hot hands and push-ups, or our hub of hot hands and push-ups, excuse me. Then we have spoke number three, which is going to be our high knee run. So this can be a fast march. It can be a run where your knees aren't going very high, but ball of foot hits first, then your heel kisses the ground. And then you start to get higher and higher with your knees, pump your arms as well. The more that you can get this big range of motion, high knees, arms pumping, the more you're gonna get your heart rate up. You can move forward and backward with that side to side as well in a circle, just to mix it up. From there, our last spoke is gonna be our jump out squats. So once again, we always go back to the hub, the middle bit first for 20 seconds. 10 seconds rest, and then you get your last spoke, which is jump out squats, here. I'm trying to jump into a V as best I can and jump out into a W, like that. Boom, once again, you can put a, a, a weight in your hands if you have a weight. You can have a water bottle and squeeze that as hard as you can just to give your upper body a little bit more work, okay? So you can rest one to two minutes after you complete one, one circuit of the wheel and then do that one more time. So that's part one. Then once you finish your second round, rest for one to two minutes and then we have part two. So in part two, the hub, the middle one that we keep coming back to is gonna be our seal jacks. Seal jacks, you're gonna cross your arms here. You can also open up into this position. You can mix it up, okay? And we're trying to cross the legs in front. Here. You can go here. So cross, open up, other leg in front as you cross. So really dynamic. Once again, try to land with your ball of the foot first and then your heels. Now the first uh, spoke is gonna be your elliptical press. So you can go from the knees, Toes can be in the ground, you're gonna rock forward, bend your elbows, and moving like an elliptical trainer 
or a train, you can go both directions. From the knees, it's a little bit trickier to get the movement. But you're trying to rock your chest over your hands, bend your elbows, and then sit back, okay? From the knees, you, to progress it, you then lift the knees off the ground. You don't want the knees too close to the ground. You want them up just almost in line with the elbows. So once again, you can go both directions. Technically, it's a challenging move, so it's going to take a lot of practice, okay? But I have faith in you. From there, your second spoke is going to be your side kick through, okay? So once again, you're always gripping the ground when your hands are on the ground. Start with the rotation, and your, your foot can just tap the back of your calf. And this is a side knee through. So your knee's just coming through. Rotate, lift the hand, grip that ground and then you can advance it to a side kick through right in here. Do you want to stay rounded with your spine here? Whether you're in the knee through or the kick through. So you can see I'm rounded here. Tuck the pelvis. So that's spoke number two. Back to the seal jacks after that. And then we have spider climbers. So spider climbers, knee's going to go to the outside of the elbow. If you need to, you can elevate your hands on a step or a chair or anything like that, all right? But once again, rounded spine, <sighs> grip the ground with your hands. And then on the last one, so after we go to the hub, our last spoke is going to be a tripod reach. Your first variation, your level one variation, grip the ground, get comfortable here, drive your hips up, squeeze your booty, then right back down. Then you start to get a little bit higher. Make sure you roll your shoulders back, squeeze your shoulder blades together. To advance it, elbow is going to be in the middle. So you can stay on the same side for your first round. Or you can alternate. I'll show you from the front. You can alternate hands each time. I like it here because you're going to be able to get a lot more repetitions, okay? So that's one full wheel, all right? Rest one to two minutes, and then you do that one more time. Now, if you need to, if you're feeling your wrist after that, you can cross, pull through, work that into your one to two minutes rest. You can do some wrist pumps. You can do any of these other moves that I've given you the tools for to pump it out because there's going to be a lot of work on your hands, okay? So there we are, workout number four. For November, that's it, peeps. If you got any questions, just post them up in the, in the group.